Well, I try to use it regularly. Um, one of my, Rob, Robbie, one of my situations is I am a T12 spinal cord injury. We dropped a bookshelf on my back and smashed my spinal cord, leaving me a paraplegic. Um, and I function from L5 down, so I'm pretty low. But unfortunately, one of the ramifications of the spinal cord injury is a lot of pain. So I live in absolutely morning till night, a certain level of pain. Sometimes I drop down to four or five, and those are my glorious days. And a lot of times I'm at six, seven, eight. So m mostly six and seven. Like right now, I was bad this morning in gym. Was, I, I, I climb up the stairs on my bottom to get to my bathtub upstairs, and I sit in this glorious hot bath just to try and break the pain. But most of the pain is burning. So... I, um, unfortunately, in my situation, I use distraction to help me with the pain. So last night I was hurting and Jim and I, we bought a little rental house, by the way, we picked up a little $10,000 rental house. Um, but, uh, we started painting this rental house and I was in pretty good pain. I'm thinking, oh, I, I don't know if I can do this. And we got over to the house and I put myself in the stander quickly and it, that pain goes away. I'm, I'm worried about how getting the paint on the roller. Am I getting it on the floor? I'm rolling the walls. So we spent about two and a half hours over there and literally for two and a half hours, I put an iPod in my, in my, in my pocket or whatever, my phone and earbuds. And I'm just chilling, painting, thinking about nothing. And by the way, I can reach the ceiling. I'm painting the ceiling. But, you know, that is the biggest, absolutely biggest thing for me. It's opened up a world of things that I'm able to do. Um, you know, literally painting the ceilings, painting the – we're priming right now, so I don't have to be too neat. But uh, I'm able to paint all the walls in this house. I've done the living room and the hallway and a bedroom so far. Um, just – chilling and rolling so that's my biggest thing um it's opened up everything that the chair my wheelchair doesn't allow so i'm about three foot i don't know five or eight or whatever it's sitting in a wheelchair and i'm i measure myself i'm five ten standing up in the stander so i really add a good couple of feet to my height and then with my arm span i'm able to just just do a lot of things 